We are out here following a new path. Today, we've got the Statue of Liberty, which is directly in front of me. I'll have to show you that here in a minute. But pedaling over to Battery Park, then from Battery Park over to the Bro Brooklyn Bridge, and just taking in the sights. And we are jumping on some e-bikes, or maybe some bikes. Headed to breakfast at a place that we went last time that we were here, the Restoration Hardware Rooftop Restaurant. We got in after midnight last night, checked into our hotel after 2 a.m. But thankfully that's only midnight Utah time, so it didn't feel super crazy. I just couldn't believe how many cars were still causing traffic in New York City at 2 in the morning. My mind was blown. I can't get through. I tried the same thing, I was like, <laughs> I can't get right through here. those bikes. No, I'm good. This is the left if you want to hear a word. You saying I can't pedal? No, you can pedal. <laughs> just don't. <notice. laughs> you guys are in New York City. I just can't get over all these buildings. We have a really, really beautiful cathedral right next to our hotel. Our hotel's in the financial district, which is a really pretty area. We're here with our friends. There's Jordan. There's Kit. Our other two friends ran back to the hotel because it's unexpectedly warmer than we thought today. A little clip? Yes. That's what I'm wishing we had right now. Justin's very concerned about my pants, so he's tying them for me right now. He takes such good care of me on trips. This is our favorite way to get around the city, is on bikes. And I love it when there's a good bike trail, but when we're in the middle of the streets and there's buses everywhere, then I get a little nervous. So I'm hoping that we can find a really good trail that's gonna take us all the way to this restaurant this morning. On memories right now of cruising on a bike in beautiful New York City with my dad. It's really about all I can think of this entire trip is just him on his bike with my mom encouraging him to get an e-bike and him saying, I don't want the e-bike, I want the regular pedal bike. Man, that was just a really good trip. So we're out here sharing it with now some friends, certainly some fond memories of my old man. Gosh, I miss that guy. But we're out here following a new path today. We've got the Statue of Liberty, which is directly in front of me. I'll have to show you that here in a minute. But pedaling over to Battery Park, then from Battery Park over to the Bro Brooklyn Bridge, and just taking in the sights. is that you pack so much into one day. We have done so much and we just got here. It really does feel like a never ending day. We've but had you, such a long day. But you, you guys need to meet our friends back here. Here goes Kate. What's up? What's up? Jordan, Kate are the Wilkins. Kaylee. Her best friend. 
You guys. And then we got Ben Jeff here. We got Ben Boo. What's up, guys? You guys, these people are a straight party back here. You should have heard him singing at midnight in the back seat. Last night. Last night. I know. One to remember. And I was in the front because I'm claustrophobic. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, the shortest person literally took the biggest seat. True. <laughs> True story. Sitting in the back seat, and then all of a sudden the suitcases get piled right here. I think so. And it was all over for me. Today has been all the bike riding. Oh, like, yeah. Yes. That was right. Well, Brooklyn Bridge, that was yeah. fun, too. Brooklyn Bridge. I think that was my favorite bike ride. We you know, did a bike ride. Was the was my favorite. What was your favorite? All of the pictures. That was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, but honestly, Haley had this idea when we got to the Brooklyn Bridge to do this really cool. They have these like spinning, I don't know what they're called. The 360 cameras. The 360 cameras. And so you I just. I said that to Ben while we were getting ready. I said, that was so good we did it. I'm so glad we I did it. Too. We walked by and it looked like a tourist thing, like total waste of money. And then afterwards, we were all so happy we did it. It was really cool. It had the bridge in the background. The bridge was very crowded today, but probably the best bike ride we've ever done. Justin and I did a ton of bike riding last time. Hudson River Battery Park. Unbelievable. We had the, like the water on one side and we had weeping willows and all these beautiful gardens and trees. And I was just one happy girl biking through the city today. So we are headed to dinner at a place that Ben has been raving about. Tony DiNapoli's. Oh, and just happy. So it's the sister company to Olive Garden where it's really, really good. <laughs> I just can't wait to get my meal and tell him that I hate it because it's going to just kill him. I'm I right? already said a prayer that you're gonna love it. Then we're going to Moulin Rouge. We're going to a show. Last time we did Hamilton, we've never seen this one, so that's gonna be fun. And then we're ending the night in Times Square, all to go home, go to sleep, and start again. Okay, you guys, we had the most incredible day and both of our phones died. <laughs> So Guys, we didn't video a lot of what we were doing walking around tonight. We really, at one point, were like, we can't believe this is still the same day. We got so much, so much into one day. And we finished it off with such a spectacular show. It was unbelievable. Best Broadway show I've ever it seen. It really was. It was the best Broadway we have ever seen. Energy, just feeling, and I'm not an artistic guy, let's be honest. It, it was it was awesome. What I didn't know was that they had so many modern day songs worked into the musical. It was just so so well done and it was awesome. the lead actress was in Incredible. Her voice, she was a powerhouse. I mean, honestly, she was, she was, it was the awesome. show for me. It was the whole awesome. thing was incredible. Tony's was so fun, so good. Classic New York Italian restaurant. Yep. Then we walked through Times Square, which is always adventurous. Always Very some entertaining. Always there. Yeah. Always some characters there. <laughs> we went to a souvenir shop and got a warm New York sweatshirt tomorrow. The three girls are going to match tomorrow. Well, the weather has shifted a little bit. It went from yes. fairly warm to suddenly pretty chilly, actually. We're talking like, I think, 42 degrees when we wake up in the morning. So so, yeah, so cool. when we got in last night, it was beautiful all day today. It was perfect weather, but we could feel it dropping. We could feel the wind, the cold blowing in. So tomorrow we're going to have to dress warm, and we actually shifted our plans a little bit. We've got some fun things coming up tomorrow. It's my birthday, you guys. Tomorrow's his birthday. Yep. He's turning the big 39. He has one year left. 
before hit, he hits the 40s. Hit 40s. 38 years and that's all I have to show for it. You're 39. No! Oh! So we're going to celebrate Vig tomorrow in New York City. We're going to do something that's, uh, you know, pretty American. We're going to call it that. Justin did hit up a hot dog stand tonight. Oh. They got a good old classic New York hot dog from a hot dog stand in Times Square. Kind of wishing I had. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little bite. I didn't think it was that great, but I know it's just kind of one of those things, you know, one of those New York experiences. So the guys all got a hot dog. Got to experience it at least once. The kids are doing amazing. My mom and dad are the cutest. I don't even know how they're keeping up with the schedule that's going on at home. There's not a ton going on, but just even a little bit. I mean, they're not used to keeping up with four kids. They've got Ava going to a birthday party today. They took Ashton to go to Corn Bellies with his friends and then took Landon and Ava to Corn Bellies, which was so fun. They don't ever do those fall things because they live in Arizona. And I was just dying over the pictures of the four of them at Corn Bellies. The cutest ever. They were sending videos of Ava that they said she was like an exact mini Lindsay. They're like, it just took us back. She was just so determined on this thing that was really cute. And turns out the football game. So they're having a ton of fun. They're in such good hands. They're just having the best time with the grandma and grandpa who they don't get to see all the time because they live in Arizona. So kids are happy and we've got another couple days in New York so we're gonna celebrate this guy tomorrow make sure you guys come back because we got another full day and our phones aren't gonna die we're gonna be better about video much yet. better much better all right guys good night see ya